John, when will you stop all this rubbish that you are doing? Now you tell me, what exactly do you want from a woman that I have not given to you? You know what? From this attitude of yours, my God will surely punish you. My God will surely punish you. In fact, thunder will hammer you, useless man, you idiot. Woman. You don't talk to me. Don't talk to you like what? Don't talk to me. What do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? Ah! Ah! Daddy, what is the problem? Mommy, what happened? What happened, mom? You slapped me. Talk to me now, mom. Daddy, in fact. Who's calling me with a private number now? Hello? Yeah, this is Mr. Cholly on the line. Oh, Pastor! Bless you, sir. I am fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. And your family? Yes, we are all fine, sir. Yes. To God be the glory. 
Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I did God invitation. Yes, uh, for the family retreat. The one that's coming up uh, in Joss. Yes, sir. I got the invitation. Oh, that is great, sir. But, uh, sir, I'm not sure that I will be able to attend it. Yes, I will not be able to attend that, uh, the retreat, yes. Sir, because of my daughter's uh, health uh, issue. Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, what's up, baby? You are still chilling from the nice dig out, right? <laughs> Bad girl. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see in the, at the joint later in the day. Uh, make we see for that joint now, as usual, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know, go kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah. This girl is a bad girl. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be afraid. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Here, yeah. do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for providing for us. Provide for those who cannot provide for themselves and provide more abundantly for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Honey, you have done it again. Thank you. <laughs> I trust you. You see, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Thank you for all your support. You know, love. Yes. I can't appreciate you enough. Mm. You mean a lot to me. Mm, thank you so much. Thank Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm thanking God for the stability of our daughter's health. And uh, I am praying that um, in a possible shortest time she will be on her feet. Amen. Amen. You see, there is this thing I want, I want to tell you. One thing. My mom, I've got this uh, special invitation um, for a family retreat. And that's when she'll be coming up in the next two weeks. So, but I'm thinking, um, I don't know if I can make it. What do you mean? To our daughter's uh, health, I, can, I don't think it's, uh, it's wise that we should leave her alone and travel. You see, love, two weeks is enough time for me to pray for God's direction. Yes. And I have this faith that we'll all be with you. That's a nice one. I will join my faith with your own faith, and then um, it will come to pass. My prayer warrior. <laughs> Thank you. Eat your food. Thank you. Joy, eat your food. Thank you, Should I help you do that? No, okay. All right, then. Yeah. Talk to me. 
Miss Yuda. Myself? Yes, you. Is it not the miracle that joy is sound today? Yes, indeed. That's a miracle. And uh, this has made me to believe that uh, every one of us will make the journey. Yes. So God has answered all our prayers. All road leads to Joss. Yes, all road leads to Joss. Can we have a toast today? All to Joe. Thank you. <laughs> I have to smile to make feel like happy. But if we can make lots of coffee, we cannot sing by our hands. You mean you didn't see me before now? Haven't I greeted you? You call that greeting, eh? Anyway, I'm not in the mood for those genius of yours. You better don't be. Ah. Daddy, what happened to you? Talk to me, Dad. What happened? Mom, talk to me now. Obvious they are dead, sir. Let's get an ambulance. Okay, sir. Take them straight to the uh, 
possible. Meanwhile, um, yes, sir. So what's next? I, I think I have to make a call, sir. Immediately. Fast about it. Come on. To smile to make the world feel I'm happy. But if we can make life so confident, can I be seen by my And how is she? Well, she's now stable. Oh, good news. Yeah, she's now stable. Uh, what about her parents? There are information I need to pass across to them. Um, her parents, yeah. the both, we lost them in a crime. And any information from you will help a long way in our investigations. <sighs> and our case must be very sympathetic and complicated. Very, very. The young lady is a single cell of you. And there are traces of rape and uh, dementia. Ah. Uh, well, officer, like I said earlier on, she's now stable. Good and news. We will do our best to make sure we save her life. Sorry, we are counting on her recovery to help us in our investigations. I'll do my best. Please do. Whatever you know you can do to make it possible. It's all right. It's all right. You're welcome. I'll be on my way now. All right, Mr. John. Yeah, thank you very much. Please take care of has gotten to the headquarters. What do I do now? Okay. I'll follow it up. She's feeling somehow weak. Okay. So you don't have to engage her with much talk. That's a good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, could it be that she's suffering from amnesia? Oh, that's really. Her mm -hmm. case is not that serious to have caused her amnesia. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's getting better. She's recovering very fast. She'll soon be okay. okay. That's good news. Yeah, she'll soon be okay. So. I agree so. <laughs> Who is this young lady? Oh, sorry, dog. Uh, she's messy. Joy's close friend. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. And you? I'm okay. Well, let's go and see her right away. Alright. Yes, you are. How are you doing now? <laughs> Doctor told us you'll be fine. <laughs> My parents think that you get better. <laughs> She will be fine. <laughs> 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 Taking all the drugs, a people calling you sick, who's hell? 
Joy, do you remember when we were so young? We used to come here with Aunt Sandra and we always play hide and seek. I used to feel that one day the both of us will come back here to have our nostalgia satisfied. Here we are, you're not even talking to me. Look at me, Joy. I promise you. You'll get better soon and when you do, we'll come back to the spot. And we'll have all our memories back. Oh, Mr. John. Yes. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. You're welcome. Please have your seat. Okay. Then, how's my girl today? Well, well, as you can see, she's fine. Just that uh, we need a psychotherapist to be sure of the next level. Oh, is that? All we need to do next. Oh yes, medically speaking, I have done my own part. Okay. So it will take a psychologist to carry on from there. Is there really no cure for this uh, sickle cell disease? Hmm. Avoidance. Yeah, avoidance is the only available cure to medical scientists for now. One has to avoid ASAS marrying each other, no matter the emotions. Otherwise, this monster will keep causing pains in the life of our loved ones. So, you are saying there's no known cure for now, or what? That is the only one. Well, she'll be fine. We're doing our best to make sure we stabilize her. Thank you. Please, do all you can. Please. I'm welcome to do what you deserve. You're welcome. Help your mommy now. Oh, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Joy, please, go for a fast, okay? Yeah, I'll be on my way now. She's not a thing. This is Joyce, a victim of robbery attack, and I think I am in charge of the case. So, why did you bring her to this place? Does this house look like a police station? Where people go to make their statements? I think I have something to explain. I don't need any explanation from you. explanation before I would start my now. As I was saying, she lost her both parents in a robbery attack and uh, my officer asked me to take her home since she should be in my custody. Oh, 
you have not yet seen tea and you are asking for over tea, hmm. I will show you Pepe. I will make sure you see Pepe in this house, you this man. Should I call Joy to come and carry her food? My friend, will you go and eat your food? Should I call Joy to come and eat her food? Are you a messenger? <laughs> a giant. From now onwards, no watching of television in this house during meal. And if you want to eat, go to the kitchen and carry your food. Shoot. Lest I forget, make sure you wash all those dirty dishes when you finish eating. Basketball. Tell me that you fly like Mike Jordan. I will fly more than I am. Are you serious? That's <laughs> unique. I do. Can't you see my London leg, man? Uh, actually, your leg is not as long as that of what Mike Jordan. <laughs> but let me ask, what exactly what have you done to me? Mommy. Yeah. Did she complain about me? Not really. Just that I don't like the way she talks to me these days. So it's not for me. Don't worry. Um, I'm sure everything will be fine. Hmm? Please. Mm -hmm. I know. Something that makes me come into your presence. 
my helper, helper, my helper, helper. Hey, will you stop that song? For God's sake, I need peace in this house. After all, it was your parents who needed this song in order to be saved from the Amnomas, and not me. Idiot. After killing your parents, you are singing stupid songs. Let me hear you singing any song in this house again. Which? Wow, joy, joy, joy. I'm so happy here. I did it. Seriously. Wait, are you trying to tell me that um, you can memorize the whole passage now? Serious, I can do it. Okay, let's hear it. The book of Exodus 14 14 says that. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And that's the way you will come to the book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And also the book of John, the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I, the Lord, comes to give you life that you may have it more abundantly. Exactly. Oh my God, that was so unique. I'm happy you, you, oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks so much. Please make sure you keep at it, okay? I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Nice. Wow. I've been reading your Bible. Yes, you know, this is my friend. Wow. It's my companion. I mean, my best of friends. That's so good. That's so good. Come, let me show you something. Okay, read this passage for us. Mm, this side. Yeah, this place. Oh, this place is talking about the lost sheep. Damn. Read this passage. Please, just let me through, please. I just don't understand what it is. Okay, let me explain. This passage is talking about disobedience. You know, there are times we just do things that are wrong and we don't even know they are wrong. So we, we disobey our parents, we do the wrong things and they are not always happy. Even the angels in heaven are not happy. But when we do the right thing, they, they, they are always excited. They get things for us. They are always happy. Even the angels in heaven rejoice because we do the right thing. Um, well, are you trying to say I'm disobeying my parents? That's why I said there are times we do the wrong thing. We don't even know. We, 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 we are very wrong. So what I'm trying to tell you is that there's still time. You can still change. Wow, wow, I'm so happy you are telling me that. <clears throat> to be serious, my parents have never told me this. You know, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's okay. Well, if only you can keep to this, you're going to be my brother. I promise. You know, you're already my sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Um, so, yes. Dan! Yes, mom. What are you doing here? I'm studying the Bible with her. You are studying the Bible with her. My friend, will you get out from this place? I'm studying the Bible. The next time I get to you, you will see what I'll do to you. And you, stay away from my son. Idiot. Stupid girl. Witch! Look who far. To smile to make the world feel I'm happy. But deep within me, lots of popping. I can't have the sin. Yes, come in. Good morning, madam. Good morning, sir. You must be Mr. John. Yes. And this should be your daughter. Too. Yes. She's Sit done. down. Thank you very much. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Mr. John, I really want to congratulate you and to say a big one to you, Joy. I told you earlier on that to gain admission into this school is highly competitive, and Joy has proved that she's worthy of that. She performed excellently well during the examination. A congrats to you once again. Thank you so much, madam, for your kind uh, consideration. I promise, 
she will not disappoint us. So good to hear and that. I will not fail in my duty as a father to encourage her. Good to hear that. Thank you, Dad. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Joyce, would you want to go to class now because it's still early, or you want to come back tomorrow? So what do you think? I'll join the class. All right then, you join your class. I'm excited. Yes. Thank you. We'll be on Thank our you way. once again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. What's the meaning of this? Sit up and let's talk. Talk about what? So, you now have money to throw around. I don't understand. You don't understand? When last did you buy me a common slippers in this house? You still speak in Paris. So you now have money to send that bastard to school. Now let me tell you, as long as I remain your wife in this house, I will not allow that to happen. You either allow it or pack your things and leave the house. Hey, it's not more than that. So that is your plan, please. Allow so that is your plan in this house. I need rest. It will not work you, this useless <clears throat> man. And let me remind you that as far as that girl remains in this house, she will not know peace. And let me also advise you to take that bastard to wherever you pick her from. Yes. You are sleeping while I'm still talking. You this, you this useless man. Call me, calm down, hammer you and that is this. That idiot, <coughs> useless man. You are sleeping. Idiot. Joy, what are you doing here? I'm having my money depression. Really? Yeah, would you like to join me? Why not? I'm here. Okay. Next week, will come from Matthew 23 to 27. Okay. And when he was entered into a ship, the disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? When he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Daddy, what I just want to tell you today is you should have faith. If your faith, even if your faith is as small as a mustard seed, the Bible says he can move mountains. How do I achieve that? Daddy, what you just need to do is just put the whole of you, like your faith in God. Okay. He will do exceedingly more for you. Okay. All right, at this point, we're going to say a prayer, a word of prayer. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. But I want to thank you for this home. I want to appreciate you for everything you've been doing in this house. I want to thank you for everything. We ask that you go ahead and take preeminent control in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we ask that you take control of every activities of today. We ask that this home rests in your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. Thank for you, in Jesus' mighty name, we've asked and prayed. Amen. Um, Daddy, please, can I ask for a favor? Go ahead. Can mommy and Dan join us in our next devotion? Well, I'll talk to them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does that make you happy? Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you are you. such a blessing to this home. Thank you. <laughs> you are gradually becoming a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I still have a message to read. So.
class. How are you today? You can all have a seat. Is your truly joy in class? Yes, sir. I really need to see his agent. His agent. What? Then what are you all doing in class? So where is your mass teacher? He's on his way. Let the classroom go call the mass teacher. I don't want you to be idle. Joy, I need to see you. Okay, sir. Joy, do you know you're the most brilliant student in class? Thank you, sir. I want to meet with someone. Not at all. He asked an offer for you. Yes, definitely. So, like we were saying, she's the most brilliant student we have. Her name is Joy. Joy. Meet Mr. Henry, a TV producer. He has a word or two to talk to you about. Hi, Joy. Hi, sir. Well, um, it's a great pleasure to you. Again, I'm Mr. Henry. Thank you, sir. Um, Joy. Joy Ochuli. Well, Joy, I'm putting up a television a program which has to do with sickle cell disease. I'm researching on a fact that I'm trying to place on air for people to make a major decision on it. I need a teenager that will help me to pass this information to the community. My God. What? Is it because I'm a single cell patient that that's the reason you? No. But are you? It's just a program that will save lives. Come on, Joy. Mr. Harry, you could go to hell and get yourself another presenter. Joy! We do give it a try. I mean, the both of us can save lives together. Think about it. Hello, everyone. I am Joy Ocholi, and the show is My Genotype, My Life. In today's program, we'll be looking at the dangers of sickle cell anemia. Sit back, relax, and be informed. Yes, I'm on, no, I'm out of the office already. Yeah. Mr. John, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? Fine, sir, how is work? Yes, I'm good. Did you watch your daughter on air today? Uh, my daughter? Yes. On air? Yes. Oh, no, no, I was so busy. Wow. She's really good. Oh, she, she's good? Yeah, she tried. You watched it? Yes. And she was okay? Yes. That's my daughter. Wow. I'm proud of her. You really busy uh, today? I'm on my way home. Okay. I'll see her. Okay. Yes, thank Have you very nice much. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Second, Dad. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm fine, sir. Um, where is Joy? Joy yeah. was on TV today, Dad. She just missed her. Oh. Oh, where is she? She's not back yet. Ah, oh. She's back. Hi, Daddy. Joy. How are you? Today? I'm fine, Daddy. I saw you on TV today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, typically I didn't have time to watch it. I was so busy. But all the same, I was told you did exceedingly well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> and who is your dad? I'm talking to you. You just fly. I am a courage half a one. I have not yet finished with you. And why is everybody trying to shout down this room? What has she done that the Queen of England hasn't done before? And you, 
You are still standing there staring at me. We don't get into the kitchen and clear all those dirty dishes. Stupid girl. Idiot. Don't like this. Don't touch me. We should follow her. Try right for the same time. Let's give the bag of Yes! I'm coming! Hey, <laughs> Seriously, you not change at all. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> don't, don't sit there. This chair is for mommy and daddy. Oh, seriously. <laughs> wow. Tyler, I'm doing all right. I'm school. Hi, mommy, daddy. Oh, God. Okay. Gosh, you look great. Come, come. <laughs> Look like a guest house to you. Huh? And you. We look at that from this place before you see the other side of the house. Shut up your mouth. Come back in. The next time you show your face to this house again, we will go this what you Get out! Oh, oh, you. Oh, you. Shut up! <coughs> you. The next time you bring your stupid guests into my house again, I will throw you out to the streets. Where you are from, you Dear me. Stupid girl. Idiot. Thanks for joining us again. But the program remains my channel type, my life. And in today's discussion, we'll be looking at the spread and management of interesting programs, right? Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, thanks. The program exposes the danger of sickle cell in the society. Yeah, I noticed it. And there's one of my best students in school. Really? Yes, I'm proud of her. Wow. That's nice. So, my dear, how far you know? Here with me to discuss this topic is no other person but Dr. Rap Asubiki. You're welcome to our program, sir. Thank you very much. Well, sir, sickle cell anemia as a monster seems to cause pains and disunity in our society yeah. and in our homes. Sir, can you tell us what is sickle cell anemia? Well, um, for the purpose of this interview, I would uh, say that uh, genes in our body is what makes us who we are, okay? Now, scientists have come up with these findings such as uh, AS, AA, and um, AS, actually. And according to them, these are the genes that mix up the human body. Okay, so can you tell us what is the cause of this disease? Okay, according to researchers, right? Now, single cell anemia is passed from parent to child, right? Now, genes carry uh, human characteristics and information about human characteristics, such as uh, a hair color, a uh, high co eye color, and a uh, hemoglobin, right? Now, um, AS as a carrier plus another AS as another carrier can produce SS. Now, SS is a disease that can cause so much pain in the body. Now, if you look at this uh, diagram, with this simple illustration, you will see the way the genes move horizontally and diagonally in the body. Now, you see that red spot over there? Okay. That 
is a dreaded monster called the sickle cell. Oh. Hmm. Now, wow, so now, do you know they cause sickness? Ah, uh, which G? Who should be said? <laughs> which, which, which G will person never take for this life? Yeah, see this one. Now, G that they talk about no be sharp. Who could call you for this person? Anyway, if you like one hundred, better you go and subscribe. Wow, which guy says? G will person will sharp, person will go and say, smile. Okay, sir, so you made mention about the red spot. Yes. So what do we do to avoid this red spot in our genes? Okay, I would advise and emphasize that uh, two people coming together for the sole purpose of marriage should endeavor to know their genotype before taking that step. You see, if you don't do that, you are likely to produce excess as a patient in the family. And uh, uh, if you don't uh, uh, check yourself first, before saying yes to that man who uh, was willing to make you his wife, there will be a problem. Now, secondly... I'm afraid, sir, that will be all for today. Thank you very much once again for the program. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. For the pleasure of the well, wishers of viewers, we've come to the end of today's program. Join us same time, same station next week. And I remain your presenter, Joy Uchuli. Thank you and bye for now. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. And Mr. Rao. To smile, to make the world feel I'm happy. But deep within me, lots of hoping. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Put my makeup on so much fun with friends and family. I wanna be free. I wanna be free. I wanna be free. Free from the struggle of my life. Do the dance or flip my head. Put my makeup on. Welcome, Dad. Why are you here all alone? Let me help us work today. Work was good. <laughs> oh God. Why all alone? Um, nothing. Nothing, Daddy. Except for what? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. I just decided to study the Bible. Okay. So what did you eat today? Uh, nothing, but I, I will. Why have you not eaten? Daddy, not I will. Your well, your well being is my concern. Let's go together. I just want you to be okay, always. make the world feel I'm happy. But if we tell me, that's a puffin. Sing by your parents, say I could sing. And I make my parents spend all the half on me. And I make people kiss to me. You're not in my shoes. I'm gonna need you. You and all I feel is very close. Thank you. If you've not eaten all day, you'd like to me the other time. Come on, eat. Otherwise, I will not tell you the surprise I have. Sweet.
free all the time. And that's free. Uh -huh. Free. 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 And yet to be a key Sunday. Hello? Yes. No, oh, you don't have to worry. It's part of my job. So I'll be right there. It's okay. No problem. You don't have to worry. Okay. It's it, it's a problem. Just feel free. I'll be back soon. I'll be with you soon. What have I done to this woman? God. What crime have I committed by coming to this world? If anybody could tell me my crime, then I will have the option to apologize. I wouldn't know how she would react if I write her a letter. I will write. I will write anything as long as she forgives me. Jo, Jo, why are you crying? Dad, I'm not crying. I'm seeing tears in your eyes. What's the problem with you? Talk to me. And I said I'm fine. I'm not. You crying. are not fine. I'm seeing you crying. What's the problem? Talk to me now, please. I'm fine. I'm not crying. Jo, you are not yet a human being, and you are going up and down, snatching people's husband. What will happen when you become a human being? I'm talking to you, I'm looking at you. Come here. Mom, mom, mom. Come here. Ah. Come here. Boom. Come here. Come here. Ah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stupid girl. Idiot. You think you can come and kill me the way you killed your parents? Yeah. Useless girl. Yeah. Yeah. Local farm. Who will help me? Mommy, I'll kill you. Yeah. Joy! Joy, wake up, please. Joy, please wake up. Joy, please don't do this to me. Joy, please. No, that is not at home now. Joy, please. Joy. Joy. Oh, my son. You are here? Yes, Dad. So, how are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. Hey, Dad, hi, Joy. Ah. Oh. The doctor is still attending to her, not until the doctor is done with all this check. So, you mean I can't see her now? Mm, not until he finishes the check on her. <sighs> but, but, Dad, what did the doctor see now? My dear, I can't stop now until it's done. Until there will be a report. But, Dad, did. Um, God, 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 please help Joe. Help Joe, God. Amen, no. Uh, but my son, do you still remember that your genotype is AS? Um, I want to advise that whenever you are a man and you want to get married, make sure it is very important that you know your genotype and that of your spouse. Uh, you don't press it. Oh, John! How are you today? Joy. 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 Oh, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Wow. So, then, how are you? <sighs> So you can see I'm fine, but just that it's a good idea to know. Yes, everyone. Everyone, including everyone, mm -hmm. is missing you. And wishing that you come back home soon. 
I don't know what you should be doing here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that needs to be. Um, At the same time, uh, God says He will neither forsake us nor leave us. Yes, that's true. Um, so I'll be I'll be on my way now. What do you care for? Let me go to the eateries and get you something to eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then you will eat right there. I know your favorites. I'll, <laughs> I'll get your favorites. I don't need really you guys to. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank okay, you very much. Alright, I'll be mommy now. Alright then. And daddy, please don't forget to get some for yourself. Ah, yes, I will. Okay. Yours is more important. <laughs> Dad, there's a letter in this Bible. I want you to give it to mom and tell her that I'm sorry. I don't understand. You are sorry? Sorry for what? What have you done to her? Dad, just tell her that I'm sorry. I'm sure she will understand. No, I won't do that. No, I can't do that. No. Dad, if you love me, and I'm, I know you still love me, just give it to her before dad comes back so that I can feel the joy of eating with you again. Please. How can I have a I'll be back. Thank you. Dad. What? Thank you. For what? I guess. I just want to thank you. Hello. What is that supposed to mean? Or else. or else what? Now you listen to me. As it is now, I don't have your time. Okay? Rubbish. Into. I hope you have not gone to see that miserable thing of your father. Mom, enough. Enough of all this, Mom. What kind of a woman are you, for God's sake? The same girl you are calling a miserable thing, even in a hospital bed, she's there thinking about you. Shut up your mouth. Thank you, Mom. Anyway, she asked me to give you this. Mom, I am writing this note from my heart. I know my presence in your house has caused you a lot of pains, bitterness, and hatred. I did not mean to cause you all this, but wished to have the best mother in you. After losing my dear mother some years ago, please, Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I still respect and cherish you. You can still be the best mom and wife the woman can be. Please read this passage from the Bible. Proverbs 31, 10 to 12.
Dad, where are you going to? I'm going to the hospital to go and see her. Wait, I want to go and see her too. Eh? You want to follow me to go and see her? Yes, I want to see her too, please. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for honoring our dear joy, who has thus passed unto glory. One thing we should all know is that in the Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 2, we are meant to understand that vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. A day will come soon. Each and every one of us here will take this path our dear daughter has taken today. Because death is a meal that we all must eat one day. What to be your testimony when that day comes? Yes, I may answer for myself, but not for you, nor any other person sitting here today. Better mother to raise my daughter lying down here. I failed in my duty. My God, I wish. Joy, please. Joy, please. I need to depart. Forgive me. Joy, forgive me. Yes. No forgiveness. I know. I know. I wish 
to do. All you need to do. <laughs> so that's why to ask for forgiveness. And your mind will be at peace with God. <laughs> to you all here today. Be at peace with God. And love your fellow neighbor just the way you love yourself. <laughs> Because that is the greatest commandment of God. Thank you all. Joy, may your soul rest in Sickle cell and heavy hand, drive them close and make. 